The ovulation cycle. The ovulation cycle, or sometimes referred to as the menstrual cycle, is a 28-day cycle of hormones, uterine and egg development, whose purpose is to ready the body for a developing embryo. There are four important steps involved in the ovulation cycle and four very important hormones. This is sometimes referred to in two major phases, the follicular phase and the luteal phase but we're going to talk about it in four steps. During puberty, females experience their first ovulation or menstrual cycle, and this starts at the follicular phase. So even though doctors will count day one of the cycle as the first day of menses, really, puberty starts at the follicular phase. During the follicular phase, about day five to seven, of the cycle. An egg matures inside of a pocket called a follicle. An important hormone called FSH, follicle stimulating hormone, is released by the anterior pituitary gland in the brain. So think FSH or egg development or maturation. This also happens with the help of a hormone called estrogen. Estrogen is released by the ovaries to help the egg mature as well. Next, let's, the think, let's think about the release of an ova. This is called ovulation. On approximately day 12 of the cycle, extremely high levels of estrogen right here stimulates the brain to release a great deal of a hormone called luteinizing hormone. Luteinizing hormone causes an egg, one egg, to release usually on day 14 of the cycle. This causes ovulation or release. So let's release an egg. When you think of ovulation, think and picture this large peak at day 14 of the cycle. The days before and the few days after in this red section here on this clock are the, is the time when the body is most fertile because sperm are most capable of reaching an egg at this time. Check out the hormone levels during the next phase, the luteal phase. The luteal phase takes place on uh, the rest of the cycle, from day 14 to day 28. During the luteal phase, hormone levels for progesterone are incredibly high, allowing for a thickening of the endometrium. You might remember the endometrium from the overview of the female reproductive system. It is the lining of the uterus. This helps to further maintain the life of an ovum as it travels through the oviduct and into the um, endometrium for implantation. Finally, if the, horm if the ovum that travels through the fallopian tube and enters the uterus is not fertilized. The, the cycle officially begins something called menses or menstruation, which takes place starting at day one of the cycle. This is sometimes called the flow phase. For about three to five days during menses, the endometrial lining will shed and exit the body. Females are born with all of the eggs or ova that they will ever have. This cycle begins at puberty and ends generally during a time period called menopause.